New tonight at 11, the two candidates vying to represent Virginia's 9th district in the United States House of Representatives faced off tonight. Republican incumbent Morgan Griffith is up against Democratic challenger Anthony Flacavento. I was one of the panelists and we wanted to ask questions that matter most to people in the 9th district. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer was there as well. He joins us now in studio with a closer look at both candidates. Shane. Lindsay and John, this Salem debate is the third and final debate before the November 6th election for this district race. We really didn't see anything we didn't already know. There are some things they agree on, some they couldn't be further apart on. But tonight, both cemented their cases for why they should win. The 9th District Showdown got one last battle at the podiums Monday night. 10 News anchor John Carlin was one of the three journalists asking questions for you. What would you do to improve the situation with Interstate 81? Gas taxes goes to the state and, and under the current system, the state Commonwealth Transportation Board makes those decisions. And as you know, they have diverted a lot of that to Northern Virginia. What I would advocate is that for those monies, a small portion of that be allowed for individual congressmen and women to designate where they would want that money to go. We obviously need to do something now. We've been kicking the can down the road for quite some time, and probably to begin with, a three-laning process throughout the Roanoke Valley is just what has to be done uh, for safety's sake, for congestion, for commute times, and all of that. Large crowds turned out for both candidates as they disagreed on topics like coal and foreign relations. But they sided together on being skeptical of eminent domain for pipelines and that the opioid crisis needs to be handled and all treatment options need exploring. I signed on as one of a handful of people who signed on to a letter asking questions directly of uh, the pharmacists who make the opioids. What did you know and when did you know it? We're going to continue after them. They have got to pay a price for what they've done. Depending on who you talk to, medically assisted treatment is absolutely critical or medically assisted treatment sometimes becomes part of the problem with our Suboxone clinics and others. I think it really should be up to the localities in the state to figure out the ones that really work and we should again be we should be lifting up the most effective solutions. Candidates felt good at the end telling me tonight Griffith it's simple he's the conservative candidate Flacavento saying he's the progressive and representing the working man. Tomorrow Flacavento is celebrating his 100th town hall meeting at the Lincoln Theater in Marion. Congressman Griffith is set for a meet and greet at the Bristol Library. In studio Shane Dwyer 10 News working for you.